everyone. Voters unhappy with both Obama and Romney rally around the candidate they call the only alternative. Libertarian and former New Mexico Governor Gary Johnson came to UNLV tonight. News 3's Amber Dixon has been talking with his enthusiastic supporters. Yeah, a few hours ago, his supporters were in these seats behind me listening to what he has to say about his plans to become president. They say they're not concerned with his low poll numbers. They want their votes for him to send a message that they're not satisfied with just two choices when it comes to picking a president. Dissatisfied describes Gary Johnson's supporters. I think when you're tired of what you've been given for years and years and years, you start to look for alternatives. Barack Obama and Mitt Romney uh, agree on the same thing. They, they do. They're the same person with the exception of gay marriage and abortion. They don't like Obama or Romney. I don't believe in the lesser of two evils. But get backlash. You're throwing your vote away. You're throwing your vote away. For wanting to vote for a man with low poll numbers. A recent poll here has you at 1%. Why continue to come out here and fight for this position? You know, I happen to think that it's, it's more than that. I mean, the national polls that have been released lately have me at 5 or 6 percent nationally. I would just ask you, do you hear my name six times for every 100 times you hear Obama or Romney's name? <laughs> not even close. I am the only candidate that does not want to bomb Iran. I didn't create one single job as governor of New Mexico. Government doesn't create jobs, the private sector creates jobs. Let's legalize marijuana now. And a vote for Johnson could take votes from Romney. It could end up helping Obama because we would think just that he would attract some Ron Paul voters and some libertarian voters who might otherwise um, vote for, for a Republican. That's okay with voters like Jessica Lemus. I think that this is just the beginning, and I'm willing to, I guess, sacrifice. She says a vote for Johnson is a step to a presidential election with more than just two options. The political science professor we spoke with here at UNLV says frustration among voters over these two choices for president is evident in the fact that the fastest growing demographic among voters is nonpartisan.